everyone. everyone. Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. Wow, Hi. we're sharing one mic today. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to coordinate this a little bit. I hope you all are well. I want to wish everybody a happy belated Hobonichi Day. Wow. Yay! It is one of the holidays that yeah. we look forward to most here yeah. at Yoseka, and it happened this past weekend. The release is September 1st in Japan time, right. which is August 31st at 10 p.m. New York time. Yeah. And so so we here in, in Yoseka in New York started our countdown on August 31st at 8 p.m. Right. So I guess Hobonichi Day is not quite one day. It really spans like three days because it's like all the different time zones. Oh, um, yes. Right? That makes sense. Though. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah. So anyway, it was really exciting. Yeah, it was very fun. It was yeah. very fun. This past year, it was the first time that it was on a weekend for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Usually, so, yeah. Usually it's on a weekday, and I don't know, like having it on a weekend felt different for me for some reason, but we did the countdown in our store, and for those of you who tuned in, thank you so much. We all had so much fun. We did something different this year. Right. <laughs> yeah. You want to talk about it? Yeah. yeah. So this year, Gordon had the genius idea of doing a tier list i think it's just something he's like really into like not just not just like for planners but like i guess like he loves watching tier list content yeah it sounds like yeah so he had the idea of doing a tier list right. and it was so much fun because yeah, people fun. really yeah. <laughs> really got heated right. and in like defending their favorite covers because it's all about like ranking covers uh -huh. and you know everybody has different opinions that's right. like that's the takeaway at the end of this that's yeah. what i learned is that like like, everybody has a different opinion on what Hobonichi cover looks best, on what's cute, what will right. fit in their lives, whatever. So we all had tons of fun, like, hashing it out, right. debating, figuring out which is, like, our S tier, which is A, B, C, D, E. And the best part was that somebody from Hobonichi joined us. That's right. Keiko. Yeah. Keiko stopped by. She was here for US Open. Yes. And she stopped by. She swam by to to take a look what what's going on yeah. uh, at Yoseka. Yeah. She gave a bunch of insights. I know. I feel like we're going to have to have a Hobonichi team member here for a countdown every year now. <laughs> like, how, what would it we was, have done without Keiko? It, it was, I, we were holding that cover only. Only is not lonely. Right, right. And, and it was getting, we were, like, it yeah. was getting hated on by everybody. It was, like, C or D. Yeah. And then Keiko went into the camera to explain. Yeah, she's like, I have to say something. <laughs> right, right. She was like, the founder, it actually came from the founder. The founder of Well, Hobonichi. one, it's, like, a quote from the founder. Yeah. And... All of a sudden, everyone was like, that's a S tier. S tier, now. <laughs> S tier. So I think I yeah. think for a lot of these things, though, like it really is, there's a backstory for every right. Hobonichi cover. Even if like the illustration seems kind of funny to you or you don't get it, like yeah. there's a backstory. It comes right. from a book. It comes from a like a piece of art somewhere. And like it's also from Japanese culture. Right. So like, that's a major part of it as well. Yeah. And then this this piece of the puzzle that we didn't know this time was that it was like a quote from Shigesato Itoi, mm -hmm. the founder of Hobonichi. And if anybody has used Hobonichi before, they know that you can find lots of Shigesato's Itoi's quotes on right. the bottom of your planners. Yeah. So it's a big part of Hobonichi culture, actually, yeah. is like celebrating Itoi's works and things like that. Right. And only but not lonely. Only is not lonely. Only is not lonely. Oh, wait, wait. Only is only not... Only is not lonely. Wait. <laughs> yeah, only is not lonely. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to explain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Keiko... So everybody was like kind of like saying this cover is too sad. <laughs> so it was getting like these really low votes. Yeah, because the word lonely. Only is not lonely. It's like, you yeah, know, yeah. it's like so sad yeah. seeming. Whereas last year, the same cover style had the phrase, have a nice day. Mm, so it yeah. seemed like it was a lot more optimistic. <laughs> and people are like, oh, why would you want this on the cover of your planner to look right. at every single day? Yeah. But Keiko came in and told us that it was like a quote from Itoi. And it basically means you being only only is like actually speaking to your unique opinion and yeah. your unique expression. Yeah. So kind of the idea that like 
you being unique does not make you lonely because right. everybody is unique in right. their own way. So actually everybody is together with you and everybody is together in their uniqueness. Yeah. So that's beautiful. Yeah, she saved that cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she saved the cover, made a comeback. Yeah. It was it was cra- it was like one of those sports movies when the team is losing and then like right. they win at yeah. the end. The clutch. That yeah. was a clutch. Yeah. yeah. So that was really cool and I just w- really want to thank everybody who tuned in. It was the first time we did a two hour live stream. Oh, also. Is, this, is it true? Yeah. Yeah. We usually oh, wow. start at nine or like one hour before the release. Yeah. And crazy thing is that like Five years ago, when we first did the countdown, right. we used to start at 11 p.m. because <laughs> like, oh, yeah, we didn't because release we're, till we're, midnight back yeah, we're then. We're at home. <laughs> yeah, we're at home, and not not a lot of people were like really that into Hobonichi. Yeah, exactly the time. Right. It was so, like earlier on. <laughs> right. Earlier on, it was like it, it was kind of hard to explain that exactly 11 o'clock in Japan means 10 o'clock here. Yeah. So instead of like. Oh, there's a that one hour difference, two hour difference. Right. We just say midnight. We just made it midnight. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it was very fun. We started doing Instagram first. Mm-hmm. We did it two years or three years? For just Instagram? Yeah, yeah. Last year was the first year we did YouTube, so we did it for like three years, wow. just Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very exciting. We love counting down to Hobonichi Day. And now that it's here, we're so happy. Thank you all for all of your orders. We have received so many orders yes. for your Hobonichi planners. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are working through them. We're working through them. Technically, they're not here yet. Yeah. Um, our packages are still in transit to us. And today is Labor Day. <sighs> yeah. So, <laughs> so we have them available online, but we actually physically haven't received them yet. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. funny because Hobonichi Day is September 1st, yeah. which always coincides with Labor Day. Yeah. So every year at Yoseka, everybody knows Labor Day is not technically Labor Day. It's Hobonichi Day. <laughs> <laughs> and we all still come in. Yeah. As you can see, people yeah. are here. We're all working on orders and we just want to get everything out as quickly as possible. So right. even though our planners aren't here yet, we are doing everything in our power to make sure that when they are here, we'll be able to just take the books that are missing from each order and just put them in each order and yeah. then they'll they'll be off on your way to you so shout out to the team for being here on labor day aka hobonichi day so yeah that's what's going on at yoseka hobonichi is a big deal we all love it i'm so glad that i've been able to see so many of you become hobonichi fans over the years and i've been able to hear your stories about how you've been using your hobonichi how you've changed from one book to another how you've grown and i think it's it's really cool because back when we started not a lot of people knew about hobonichi keiko actually mentioned that she looked up our first email reaching out to them wow uh, reaching out to hobonichi and then she was saying it was quite surprising right because they didn't really think it was going to be popular overseas so yeah and now look at them they have like three or four different planners in english translated they used to only have one that's right right so really exciting stuff yeah something else that i want to share with you all that we did for hobonichi day was we asked selena to do this really cute postcard celebrating Hobonichi Day for us. So I actually want to call Selena here to explain it. Hi, Selena! Hi! Hi! Hi. (laughs) Um, Selena designed this postcard and every, I feel like every year for the past few years we've done a Hobonichi yeah. postcard for like to commemorate Hobonichi Day. Yeah. Last year, Ame actually did one for us. <laughs> the previous year, Ashley did something like a photograph that she like r- like illustrated on. It was very yeah. cute. It was so cool to see yeah. your artwork here on this on this postcard. This is it's actually it's actually really cute, guys. Thank you. Super cute. Can you explain some of the yeah details? So- when Ashley like asked me to do it, I was really excited, even though it's like my first year like getting a Hobonichi. <laughs> but basically, 
this is actually a reference of my own hand, so it's kind of like what my setup would kind of look like. Mm -hmm. So for the color palette, I think I tend to lean towards like very pink and warm colors. Mm -hmm. So that's what I kind of incorporated in this. Yeah. So it's very like heavily my style. Um, yeah. he, she didn't give me any like direction, so I could kind of choose what I wanted to do, mm. which I thought was really nice. So the cover that's here, this is the one that Melanie and I are getting, which is- Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, it's okay. the cafe au lait. <laughs> okay. It's really hard to tell, but it's like, you know, like the the leather inside. The zip around. Yeah, the wow. zip yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. with like yeah. Plaid, um, yes, brown, plaid brown plaid outside. Plaid. Yeah. And then this one right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like the little tulips, which is like inside the, it's like the kitty one, the <gasps> illustrated kitty one. Oh. Oh, we have the cat outside. Oh. And then inside, there's like designs on it. Wait, the Yumi Ki the Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. How cute. Oh, I didn't. Re oh, the, all yeah. these details. Yeah. Okay. And then I have cake because I really like strawberry cake. Oh. <laughs> and then <laughs> this is the dot liner that I've been using. So I oh. included that. And then the tiny stickers that are on the Hobonichi are stickers from the Team Yoseka. Since we just recently had Stationery Fest, I bought like everyone's stickers, so I thought I would include that. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then, oh my god, I don't know if you can see, but the character that Laura designed, the nib. <gasps> the nib monster is yeah, there? Yeah, it's so oh, tiny, I totally but it's like too. on the, the card right here. Oh my and gosh. It says September 1st, because uh -huh. that's when it came out. Uh -huh. mm. So yeah, those are like some of the little details. Wow. wow. Yeah. And is that a Sarasa clip? It, okay, yes, it is a Sarasa <laughs> clip. I got this pen before I started working here, so. Mm. <gasps> it's like, Don't talk about it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about it. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite pens. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. a good pen. Yeah, I think it's like a, ho a, ho a great pen with Hobonichi. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind <gasps> of the little Easter egg eggs in this postcard. Yay! So yeah, thank you so much for letting me do this. No, oh, thank you! Yeah. It's so cute. I think people are like loving it. We posted it on Instagram and Yay. people love it. Thank you guys! Yay! And, uh, do you want people to find you on Instagram? Oh yeah. <laughs> My personal art account is Selena Swirl. Selena and then S-W-I-R-L. And I'll be posting more drawings there. Yeah. Okay. okay, so everybody go follow Selena if you love her art, which I think we all do. Thank you. Thanks, Selena. Thank you. What are you working on right now? I'm working on <laughs> packing and sealing and picking items for you guys. <laughs> um, thank you for supporting us. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Okay, thanks, Selena. Thank you. Bye. Bye. She's yeah. so cute. <laughs> Selena like just graduated college, guys. Yeah. She's so adorable. But look, she's so talented. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's this Happy Hobonichi Day. Special edition 17 mm -hmm. of the postcard. Very yeah. cool. So that's all of our Hobonichi news. Sorry if I went on and on. I'm really excited about Hobonichi Day this year. Other than that, I do have a small kind of planner update for all of you. Yeah. I guess a couple of planner updates for you since it is planner season and we're right. getting lots of planner questions. Number one is from Himikuri. Oh, yes. We have an update. Oh my god. Oh my god. A cra crazy, crazy, crazy. Update. Okay. And it's thanks to you guys because I think we told right. you all and then yeah. you went to ask Himakuri right, right, what's right. going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was in July they sent us an email saying, okay, you know, it's not. They're changing, updating the policy. And then, I don't know, we, we, I think we talked about Last it. Last week, I feel like it was, or maybe two weeks ago, right, we right, shared right, with right, everybody. Right. Yeah. And then uh, I think that. That's when I felt like, okay, I reached out again oh. to say um, if anything changes. Yeah. Uh, we support, we've been supporting your your brand. And oh, you guilt tripped them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have that power, um, but I think words got out. Okay. I think words got out. And then they replied to that email uh -huh. saying, okay, actually, we are going to add more this year. That's, you know, they're going to change it back. Yeah. So they're going to add more production. So they're looking at coming back in November. So for those of you who missed it a couple yeah. of weeks ago, basically, he McCurry decided not to partner with retailers right. this year. They want to sell it directly. They want to sell it directly. Right. 
which you know some companies do. It's some maybe do. maybe they view it yeah. as like easier, right? Or like yeah, it's easier. Yeah, which, you know sometimes it's like you know you know whichever reason. And this time, I think they decided to do that, and then they got more inquiries. Right from all of you guys. Right, <laughs> I think it's from everyone, and then maybe it's not ready. For them to do it directly to customer, right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was getting a lot of like panicked emails, like, "Oh, they're actually they said they're not shipping outside of Japan." So they reassessed their plan, and they are going to have Himikuri through us, so we'll be able to order it, which、yeah. we're very excited about because.、Yeah. We've always loved Tima Curry for many years, yeah, yeah. so it's very exciting. Other news, other than that, we are—I think we've like updated on the planners in past episodes, but、yeah. we have Midori MD. They're here. You can order them those planners. So that's like Hibino Gradation、right. MD One Day One Page,、yeah. and then another planner that we're getting a lot of questions about recently is Take a Note. Yeah, Take a Note, which、yeah. I use. So I'm. I've been extra annoying with Neil about this one because、B6. I was like, "This is the B six." Yeah, I was like, "Neil, when are we getting our take notes?" Because <laughs> I love take note.、Yeah. So we got a lot of questions about take note, and we did finally place our order, and、right. you will be able to see them on the coming soon page, and pre-orders should start like. For us, at the end of the week, about pr- pr- yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. So don't worry too much if you right, right. are asking about take note because、yeah. we will have those as well. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, and then the other one is PAL. PAL. PAL planner. We just placed an order. These are more independent planners makers.、Mm-hmm. So take a note、uh, by Chloe. PAL by Bushman. Another one is ours. Ours.、Um, yeah. And these companies are much smaller. Their timeline is a little late. Right, it's not、arriving. like Hobonichi where they have like a whole company of people working on all these planners. Yeah, yeah. and then like Midori Travelers, we I think we placed like pre-order back in like February. Right, they're yeah, like yeah. very on it because they always <laughs> produce like the same lineup pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One company that <gasps> people might be wondering、yeah. is Buy Metal. Yeah. I need to follow up. Yeah, with, we're not sure. Yeah, we're not sure.、Um, we haven't heard back, you know, from our. Inquiries. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll get on it with with that、yeah. and update everybody as soon as possible. Yeah. Five Metal started in Taiwan with like a fundraising a couple of years ago to do those projects. They're more like a design company,、mm. so they work with company to to come up with cool projects. Yeah.、And、this has been like one of them every year. So I need to follow up. I hope. Everything's okay. I hope everything's okay. Yeah, we love Five Metal Shop calendars.、Yeah. Very cool. Okay, well, those are the planner updates、yeah. for the week, and we hope to have more next week as well. And then, other than that, in newly added stationery, I think last week our main focus was Hobonichi, just getting、right. all of those <laughs> listings up because、mm-hmm. they really did have a big catalog this year. Oh my god!、Um, yes. Yeah, very big. Yeah. Very big. So we we did that, which is great. And then one other kind of bonus that we worked on last week was these. These are. Ame's new collaborative products that she did with us. So it's Ame Ru X Yoseka Stationery X. So it is a collection of cats、yeah. and stationery. And so there's three sticker sheets. There's Kitty Confetti, which is like these adorable cats and these cute little pastel colors.、Yeah. There's Cat tabs because I think Ame knows how much I love an index tab and how functional it is for a planner, and then meme cats. This is probably everybody's favorite. These are cat illustrations based off of memes, but the best best part is that the cats. Are based off of the cats in Team Yoseka, so it's like a bunch of our different team members' cats. And Ashley picked up on this detail that I didn't. But did you see this, Neil? Yes, I did. Did you realize what this is? Yes. Oh, I didn't. Okay, that's that's our logo, Yosenja, our Yoseka logo in cats. Very cute. I totally missed that.、Yeah. Ame, why are you a genius? And then there's two washi tapes. This one is the kitty confetti. I'm trying to find the seam. So it's kind of like the same color scheme as the stickers, kitty confetti. Very cute. And then 
the other one is so cute. It's, it's called okay, cute. Catwalk. It's called Catwalk, and you guys, it's based off of the shelves in our store, our yeah. physical Yoseka shop. So you can see all sorts of things, like this whale is a classic -y whale plate. Yeah. These hourglasses are high tide hourglasses. Then these little, this little organizer is something that we use for ink cartridges. These are little Penco storage bins. And I'm looking for, oh, the inks are the beginning. These inks, these inks are Pilot Iroshizuku inks. Yeah. So it's like our ink shelves, just all, all of our display shelves in our store, and then cats walking among them, kind of like Esther used to do when she yeah, was yeah. in our shop. Yeah, back in the day. Back in the day when we would bring her. Right. So shout out to Ame because you did such a good job with this. Yeah. It's so good. Everything Ame does, she just puts a lot of heart into. Like there's all of these details that you yeah. would never be able to... You can't even find all of them. Like there's so many little details that she designed and she put lots of thought into. Right. And she really knows our store so well. She knows our team members so well. And she put all of that into this collection, Yeah. which I love. Yeah, a little bit more about Ami's work. Recently, we asked Ami to work on the Stationery Fest uh, color scheme. Yeah. So back in January, February, along with the logo, Ami helped put out the design language for Stationery Fest. So like the different colors that you see, actually not different color, but the same colors uh, you see across different brands, including our pen, and the reason they stay so consistent, and the word confetti, you know, those are all, all came from Ame. Yeah. So this is very cool. I'm very glad that this collection's finally here. I hope you all love it. I feel like Stationery and cats go very well together, yeah. and Ame kind of nailed it with this one. So hopefully you guys love it too. I think that's about it for okay. this episode right. of Catching Up. And I hope you all are great, enjoyed this episode, yeah. got some important information about planners. Yeah. Thank you all again for celebrating Hobonichi Day with us. Yeah, for thank you. Yeah, whether it's your first year, your second year, or your fifth year, whatever it is, we really appreciate it. It's been amazing to see like the growth of Hobonichi yeah. over the past few years and know that we're like a little bit a part of it. It's uh, very is a very yeah, cool thing. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So thank you all for watching this episode and we'll see you very soon in the next one. Now we got to get back to working on lots of emails. <laughs> <laughs> lots of orders. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.